Guys, this isn't a happy topic of discussion, I must say, but it is one of importance. Imagine being taken away from your home, held captive, never knowing what it feels like to live in your natural surroundings. Well, this is a daily truth for bears in Romania. And WSPA, known as Whisper, they want to put a stop to the cruel conditions that these bears endure on a daily basis. Here to tell us more about it this morning is the captain of the Collingwood football team, Nick Maxwell. Nick, good morning and welcome to The Morning Show. It's good to be here. Look, we're a... You know, a sympathetic nation, when there's a good cause around, this is obviously a good cause. Yeah, exactly. We know that the Australians, they love digging deep, they love helping out. Charities are out there and there's so many great charities mm. out there. Uh, look, this one that we're talking about today is about animals. Mm. Yeah, cruelty to animals and... Uh good reasons to join Whisper in their mission. Tell us how they're actually helping. Yeah, well, Whisper work all around the world to actually help animals. Um, some of them held in captivity illegally. Others where um, there's sort of the culling of dogs around the world, that mm. type of thing. So mm. obviously everyone out there uh, has their own pet dog and they want to make sure they look after them the best they can. So mm. bear baiting is a campaign that we worked on and uh, it obviously still goes on. So we're still working on that, but we've had a lot of success around the world. So these bears ultimately get freed. That's the goal, to free the bears. They're completely stripped away, are they, from their natural habitat, and then moved into a, a sanctuary, the Zanesti Sanctuary, I think it is. You might just tell us, you know, what happens. Yeah, well, we've rescued 59 bears in Romania, and they're mm. in the Zanesti uh, Sanctuary, so they're obviously, their whole world's just changed, and you just see their personality change when they go from being held in this tiny little cage, and we're talking, some bears grow to sort of three times the size of, a, of an adult male, so... Um, Big bears being... in a small area. Exactly, yeah, so... Um, a and, and am I right in saying, like, they could be living in that cage for up to 20 years? Exactly right, and psychologically, that has a big effect on them, so sometimes self-mutilation where they start biting their own paws and that type of thing. So they're just not living in the conditions that they were born to live in. So Whisper basically frees them, takes them uh, back to the Zanesti Sanctuary and they actually get to do the things they're supposed to be doing. They get to dig for berries, they get to climb trees, they get to swim and they actually mm. get to hibernate, which is something, of course, that they should be doing every year. But normal, most of them don't normal get Normal bear stuff. Exactly right. How do we put a stop to it, Nick? It's pretty simple. Just go to bricksforbears.org.au. For $10, you can buy a virtual brick, put your name on the wall there, and uh, that all goes towards all the work that Whisper are doing. Bricksforbears.org.au. And, you know, 10 bucks is a small price to pay in being able to offer bears a new life. Um, and I think, too, it's probably worth pointing out, you know, for those watching now that still aren't completely sure of what it's all about, you might like to just tell us the story of Baloo, because I think Baloo sums up what Whisper are all about. Yeah, Baloo's on our radar. Um, he's a beautiful big brown bear who was taken away uh, from his mother. Uh, wouldn't have survived in the wild um, if he was just left by himself, but he's been taken, basically put in a cage uh, at a ski resort there, and he's used as a real tourist attraction. So he basically lives off the um, tourists actually giving him food scraps. Mm. So obviously the malnutrition, he's not getting the nourishment that he needs in the food. Um, so we can't just go in and take him away. Um, but what we're doing, we're working with the Romanian government, who have we have the full support of them. They want to stop all this as well. So we're getting closer, and uh, Blue is one that we definitely have to rescue soon. You mentioned to me earlier that you know, you've got to take the, the whole approach to this. You've actually got to rescue the bear but, but give the people a life as well. Exactly. Well, you need people to understand that they can't just be going out there and treating bears like this. So obviously um, they're supposed to be, they're wild animals, they're supposed to be in a natural environment. So making them understand the whole thing. So that's why it's holistic, not just going and taking the bear back and then they'll just go and get another one. So mm. making them understand that it is wrong. If it was a, a human, I mean, the bottom line is nobody would stand for it. And every time we stand up to help whisper in their mission, we're not just helping the bears. Uh, we're really making a huge difference and we can all do that. Give us that website again. Yeah, www.bricksforbears.org.au. Just go on there. For $10 you can buy a brick uh, and it goes a long way to all the help that Whisper are doing around the world. Fantastic. Bricksforbears.org.au. There's the website. Go to it. Nick, thanks for coming in and telling us the story. Thanks for having me. Guys, thanks for that. Here to share.